Hey, it's Brian Steves, uh, Chair of Fine Arts, and um, we had a really good meeting today on FTE, um, but we didn't have a chance to follow through the whole entire uh, proposal, and so I thought I would present it in this quick video and, um, and see if we can get uh, continue to make some good progress on, on our FTE project. So um, here are the, our numbers that we got from from Julie um, and read are the ones that we have questions about or concerns and actually we took care of quite a few of them today. So um, we had not given Nancy uh, point one of the musical responsibilities like she's had for the last 12 or so years. So um, we fixed that error and it's the seventh period class really on error. It's just it's it's it can be challenging to know what goes on because the numbers don't always tell the full story. Like there are zero periods signed up for the musical right now, but of course we'll have about 50 or 60 kids involved. Um, there is, I'm putting a proposal together that we uh, do, an, even though we already have a 0.4 increase in visual arts, I have a 0.6 proposal in um, and focused on the art two sections. We have 74 signed up. And so I, have a case for us to offer a third section of our two, not just two sections. Um, again, this problem with zero and seventh period. The zero period jazz bands is taught by two different people and they're two full year classes. Um, one is the called advanced jazz band and that's about 20, 22 kids or so, which is a full, full jazz band. It's not a huge ensemble. Um, but then in the non, um, the, the, we, the other, Jazz band is a non-audition ensemble. And Toby this year had 40 kids. He usually has like 15 or 18 saxophones and they're supposed to be five. So, um, but you know, kids want to do jazz at 6.30 in the morning, we're there for them. So um, I believe we have that though worked out. Again, just a little oversight there. So uh, jazz two, jazz one uh, section of each. Um, this is our, our guitar sections. Um, first, I had thought, Perhaps since I'm not an advanced guitar player, um, and we don't know if the new staff member would be or not, to kind of combine the um, some of the the combine the intermediate beginning and advanced all together. But after our discussion today, we will I have proposed to we break it out into an, a section of intermediate and then a section of combined intermediate and advanced guitar, and um, hopefully the new music person is a guitar player, um, so I don't have to. <laughs> so um, that's what I have done. And then um, the proposal from administration is 0.3 for beginning guitar. And I would like to, to offer out point, point 0.4. We have 91. So um, for 33 kids in a guitar class is, is a lot. Uh, and they are ch our challenging group. Um, but we're almost at capacity with three sections. And so um, I'm going to have a proposal for four. Oh, and here's this no FTE for AP music theory. And yet I am hoping. Let's move on. So just a quick rationale for um, I, why I'm advocating for a 7.4 allocation. Um, and just to be clear, we were at a 6.6 .6, um, from the FTE team. Um, so we had a 0.8 off between the two of us, but now I believe we're at a 6.9. Um, we've recaptured and I think we can get a win-win out of this. Um, so we got the musical back in, so yay. So we need, I'd like to see the kids who, who has started art, their art sequence to be able to continue it. So if we only offer two sections of our two, there's about 10 kids who would you know, have to do something else and hopefully would come back to art or maybe, maybe not. And that would be sad. But also we, um, I was looking at the art one sections and they are all absolutely full. We are offering seven sections for 235 kids. So they're at 33.5 each. So um, even though at was it 70 something, those the art two's classes would not be skimpy small. Um, Perhaps there's some kids in there who took art all the way through middle school or done some private art studio work and we could put them in R2 and fill up that third section and then give a few more seats available for um, kids that still need to enroll or kids that show up in the 
some are, I know the counselors kind of depend on being able to have a couple arts classes they can put kids into. We got the jazz bands back. So for guitar, um, yep, I'm, this was the other plan, but, um, so already discussed me myself here. Um, but four sections for beginning guitar, that's a great class where kids don't know what they want to take. And the six period and the counselors can say, well, we have beginning guitar. Okay. Sounds all right. So, and then uh, 7.4. So this is looking at enrollment by programs, which is something we do, you know, in, in performing arts, um, perhaps more than other departments do. So here's our enrollment by, you know, not just individual sections, but overall uh, program enrollment. And we can see art, fantastic, look at that. That's so awesome. And um, I think a primary force in that is that, you know, kids are taking two years of fine arts now to graduate with the Core 24. And so we would expect there to be a, um, a rise in FTE, given that all the kids are required to take a full additional year of fine arts. Um, I'm surprised that improv and guitar numbers did not go up somewhat. Um, art got it all, so yay for art. Um, are, the rest of the numbers are fairly um, stable. Uh, general music is is AP theory and guitar, um, so just a tiny increase in there. A little dip in orchestra, and then this is the improv class we're dropping, which works out well though because Brian is full time and we don't have to worry about you know this this improv class hanging out there. So um, just again, seventh period classes and zero period classes. Um, I, I hear different stories about how things go with the kids enrolling. Um, so they just consistently do not have the ability to register for zero seventh period classes in March. It's just not possible for the children. I don't know why exactly. So I'm bringing up something now. So this is my draft, um, 7.4. So I have us, uh, I only have us increasing the art staff by 25% by adding a 0.6. So I'm not commensurate with what is going on here. Um, and the rest, since the numbers have changed too much, then dropping a section. So um, we are reducing music and theater by 0.2. Um, so, but have getting to ask for 0.6 in visual arts. So it's 7.4 compared to 7.0 this year. And here's what's on the table, the 6.9, I believe. Um, so 18%. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> dropping AV theory and guitars by margin even though it's about the same and we had a 75 percent decrease in zero and seventh period classes until today and sean monica saved the day for jazz and the musical good job okay looking at it in a staffing point of view which i'm sure is all departments do but when we have one person in charge of a whole entire program or two and when the kids are going to be taken from the same teacher for four years it's just, it's crucial that we have strong people, of course, and that we are looking at individual sections, but we're looking at, you know, pe putting people in the spots where they're going to do the, their best work. So this was how we divide up our FTE this year. With This is the first and only year that Dan's gone to, or Scott's was 0. 0.6, and, but we have had Dan at 0.6 for a while. But, uh, uh, oh, excuse me, Emily was 0. 0.8. Here's a historical perspective, just FYI, that we are usually have been at the FT in this in this range. Um, so we went some point oh because of um, Scott's condition, you know. But um, this is where we normally live. So six point six was was kind of shocking to to see, but um, we have to, we we transcend just the numbers. Um, okay, so here's a comparison with the 6.9, 7.4. So I'm asking for 0.6 compared to 
I'm full time for our new band staff person. I think with the addition, and as the things now that we put the jazz back, men's back in, you put in the musical, and you need to get some sort of music person in there, and that's why you know the proposal is for a 1.0. Um, yep. So not quite so drastic. Looking at reducing music theater by 0.5, increasing our by 0.4, so just cutting the department now by 0.1, even though we're already at a, you know, historically low point. Um, I was doing my first year, lowering it by a 0.2, and, but then we get to increase our by 0.6, so I'm looking for a 7.4, so still far below, well, far below, but below where we've been in the past. So hopefully room for discussion. We did discuss, yay. Um, obviously we will get stronger candidates the more of the FTE we offer. And we know that Toby is working on his administrative um, certificate. So um, it would behoove us to go and get a strong candidate to fill that job position with an eye on another position in the, in the near future. So in addition to the sheer magnetism of our art teaching staff, um, there's the increase in the graduation requirements. Um, but I do have a little eye on the facilities. Um, so if we're adding 0.6, that is three sections, and that fills up our two art rooms for six periods each a day. So overall, seven, three, one, and one, which is the max. But I'm wondering about the future. Um, the last couple of years, about half of the Art 1 kids take Art 2. And so, especially with the two-year requirement, they might increase. So, um, Art 1 at 235, wow, I don't, that kind of maxes us out on room. So, we need to be thinking about that. So, there's that lovely crystal art palace studio right next to the art rooms that we perhaps oh the greenhouse so um many have their eye on the greenhouse but i think it was made for the arts or for growing things one of the two so this is um the color colorful plan that um, we were asked to fill out um i was a little less pleased i spent all the weekend doing my 7.4 because um i thought that there were perhaps just some oversights because i think our, our scheduling is a little complicated and um and then i was going to suggest that hey why don't i just do what i think we should do and then you can look at that and then you can push back it to me and say well why are we offering 0.4 in jazz and i because we always have because it's two classes and we have kids doing jazz band in the middle schools or you know whatever the rationale is um because when we do get um, lowered FTE, it's you know it's, we we feel it as a statement on our our programs and our and our worth. You know, it's not necessarily the full story, but um, and then I had to redo the whole thing, so that was with and also I'll add that when I put together a plan, especially when I don't think it's really going to actually happen, um, and we started deciding room numbers mistakes mistakes happen so i've mentioned that a couple of times already but so this one is not how it would be i don't think um and in fact there's still some errors in it that i cannot kind of fix in an hour or two um so just really quickly um this has emily then picking up an art one so our seven sections doubling up there and here's one six five three here's you can see it's it's ap there's two different uh, curriculums with the AP, even though there's only a few kids in each one, but it's a set of, you know, materials and things. And there's Art 4, which is different than AP. So this is really three, three classes. So Art 2, three advanced classes all in one, and then Art 1. Hmm. Um, again, good use of the rooms. And everyone here is fine. I, Toby is willing to do the pop music outside of band because we want this person to teach you know, as much band as, as possible. Um, 
you know, most people would like to teach all band, but it's kind of nice to have the non-ensemble classes. The question mark and the asterisk, Toby agrees to do an extended day because he goes from zero all the way to sixth. And, you know, if you do zero, you should have six period off. And if you're 0.7, you should not have this, this gap in the day. And I cannot readily figure it out um, because we only have two ensemble rooms and um, we've got classes already. And it's all been sort of developed. Um, that even having AP theory fourth period is kind of crucial because that's the period we don't have any advanced ensembles, all freshmen across the board. So um, there's not a lot of flexibility in our inflexible rooms. Um, so if this was a 0.7, we'd need to tighten this up. That We have this plan where all the freshmen are making this mega band of like 90 kids. Um, percussion ensemble at the end of the day. And just FYI, we're looking at this band person here, kind of focuses on the marching band, and then this person on the advanced jazz and on the advanced sort of concert formation. So it's it's, it's brilliant, a brilliant idea. And here's me, Mav. <laughs> 6.9, hmm. better than 6.6. .6. Concerns, mm-hmm. So as mentioned, art one is at full capacity that we need more flexibility there. Guitar one is right with only offering three sections is almost at capacity and just FYI, pop music is over full by a few kids. Improv is full over full. The, there's no room if we do the one section of intermediate and then one section of a combined their capacity. So we, we need some counselors, we need some space in our sec in our in our courses for um, ones that classes that kids aren't involved in already in like a long term orchestra band choir type um, program will need to fall into. The ten kids in our two, I feel strongly they need to have their should not have their sequence disrupted, so they need to be able to continue. So again the plan would be maybe advance some kids into our two here and fill that all the way up. Some other sad things. Toby said he would teach pop music, but he thought he was going to get a marching band director out of the deal. But now he's teaching pop music and he doesn't get a marching band deal because it's only a point seven. And who's going to go to all those football games and stuff when you're barely getting med, you know, health care? Emily is, will be sad. She has over three preps and she only teaches four periods. She's not going to be a very rested mother when she gets home. She'll be also sad. And, you know, we post a 0. 0.7 for a, this a band person and 0. 0.4 for art, plus the other 1.0. Um, I don't know if we would get the best candidates. Seems like with, you know, I wish Scott and um, Dan the very best. It's just when they both retire together, um, I was really worried how we were going to piece together these positions, but when they did it together, it just opened things up. And I want to lose the opportunity to really continue to grow. You know, lots of great things are happening in the pack. Um, adding another R teacher to our teachers. And um I, I think with the point six we could get a strong a strong person. So by hiring two people um this the same year, we can with Emily look and see maybe somebody is better is has focused more on, on pottery and the kiln stuff. Somebody else is maybe more drawing and design, um, glass blowing, whatever the fort is. Um, it would be, we could, we have the power that, to choose that all together if that's important. We can start to keep our eye on the art, the, the Kemia Crystal Art Palace. Um, and, you know, maybe for that 0.6 person, maybe the year after next, we get someone who wants to teach art history. We can have two AP two AP classes in our department. And then, you know, the, there will be a redesign of the band program. So um, I don't think we should piecemeal the part, but we should be preparing for the, the future. Oh, yes, 34 years. <sighs> Sad little life doesn't get to teach music theory and said guitar. Here's the same schedule I've had for um, almost a week now, um, just, it looks right, doesn't it? Everyone's 7.4, still underneath where we have been historically. Um, <laughs> so this, you know, a lot of kids here and ugh, so this is a balanced 
teaching schedule. <laughs> um, hopefully he's the guitar expert. So then we got these back to back here and in the in the band room. Um, so, yep, check it out. He, oh, look at it with three sections of R2 and the advanced. That's doable. Um, maybe we would switch these around a bit depending on the people's, the personnel's wishes. But, you know, Laurel had this one advanced class with all of her beginners and she liked that. So, and then the point six would be doing all beginners. And I had fashion so they could be in the same room. Um, so whoever Laurel's person is, maybe they could pop over to Emily's room in the afternoon. Um, cause it's been post their plan. Maybe our three needs the, well, Laurel did in her room, but I'm not exactly sure, but it'd be nice if someone's coming in, maybe to be in the same room, but whatever, whatever you think, Emily. So, and this was just that final sheet showing the distribution, which yeah, I keep that in mind when I like, especially the arts, make sure that they're offered throughout the day, try to make the guitar so kids can go into advanced guitar second semester, um, or, or, um, in the improvs are back to back, so you can go from beginning improv to advanced improv, blah, blah, blah. I think this is, of course, the, the 6.7.4 and not do this for a 6.9. And that is where we're at. So, um, things move fast and I appreciate your time watching that and for, um, considering, um, fully funding the arts at Kamiak High School. And good night. <laughs>